coming. And well, I gotta tell you something. If you guys are, if you're feeling happy now, wait until you see what I have to show you. <laughs> Just when you think you've seen Donald Trump at his Trumpiest, <laughs> he shows up at a funeral and sets a new world record for ridiculousness. Fibonacci flew to North Carolina this weekend <laughs> to attend a memorial service for one of his biggest fans, Diamond of Diamond and Silk. You remember these two? They love Donald Trump. Well, Diamond passed away a couple of weeks ago, leaving behind a family, friends, and hundreds of videos praising the man who showed up to return the favor. Trump appeared before a sitting room only crowd, 150 mourners gathered to hear him speak about their beloved diamond, and he almost did. He almost spoke about her. Trump rattled on for 44 minutes. He covered a wide range of topics, including NAFTA, tax cuts, crowd size, illegal immigration, the election, why they don't put Melania on magazine covers anymore. The Space Force, it was all there. It was quite a performance, and he got it in just before tomorrow when the Oscar nominations come out. Inflation is uh, a death sentence for a country. You just can look back over the last two or three hundred years, and you look at what inflation has done to many other countries. It is an absolute death sentence. But your sister, Diamond, was taken from us much too soon. Inflation was a, did inflation kill Diamond? I don't know. <laughs> and by the way, we're just getting started. And I just, I've done a tremendous amount of work for the African-American population, the black population. And I always ask, what do you like better? African-American, black, you know, there's many different terms that they said, we like black. You just said, we like black. Because I was always saying African American, Afri but many people said we like black. <laughs> Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream has finally come true. <laughs> it was more of a melody than a eulogy. It was uh, entirely about Donald Trump. He even managed to somehow work in a story about NBC begging him to sign on for more seasons of The Apprentice. When I did The Apprentice, it became the number one show on television, and it did well for years. And then I said, I'm going to run for president. And they said, uh, no, please. Then the head of NBC came, head of reality television came. They all came to my office to try and get me to sign a five-year contract. Three years, five years, we'll do whatever you want to do. And I said, no, you can get somebody else. And they recommended Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a big movie star, right? Well, he did really poorly. He got no ratings. That thing was a disaster. Well, they got Martha, too, right? Martha Stewart. She, they put her in there. That was a disaster. Anyway, back to the deceased who we will <laughs> miss so dearly. This speech had all the sincerity and grace you could possibly expect from a man who buried the mother of his children at the 16th hole of his golf course. <laughs> and the crazy thing is, I bet he thinks it went great. I bet he feels like he, he just won a Soul Train Award. I said, make America great again. You know, it's such a great, there's never been a phrase like that. I think it was, uh, when people said, what was, because I do nicknames for people, probably a lot of you heard this. Crooked Hillary and so many others. Low energy, remember low energy? I mean, we could go through the whole Pocahontas. She said she was an Indian, so I called her Pocahontas, and everyone said, oh, that's terrible. That person was our president, okay? <laughs> This is a funeral, 44 minutes of, it was like, it was a tone deaf comedy jam. Perhaps most famously, she uh, said, we classy and we sassy, but if you cross us, things may get nasty. I think we just found his new campaign slogan. <laughs> it's that, we classy, we sassy, can we see that one more time, please? We classy and we sassy, but if you cross us, things may get nasty. <laughs> ask, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country's nasty assy. <laughs> By the way, Trump wasn't the only notable to show up at the service. Diamond got a considerably more emotional tribute from the My Pillow guy. You are looking down from heaven, 
And you're giving us courage to keep going in this spiritual battle of biblical proportions to save our country and move and move forward in the greatest revival for Jesus Christ in history. We love you, Diamond. Use promo code RIP Diamond for 20% off of my pillow pet bed. Wow, what a Meanwhile, um Con man, I mean, Congressman George Santos is hotter than ever thanks to this video that either does or does not confirm he was at one time a drag queen in Brazil. Get your hands up high. Well, he may lie, but those hips don't. I'll tell you that. <laughs> This is some story. Uh, the reports say Santos' drag name was Kitara Ravash, and on Saturday, the artist formerly known as Kitara actually answered a question for once. Congressman, were you ever, were you ever a drag queen the in Brazil? <laughs> no, I was not a drag queen in Brazil, guys. I was young and I had fun at a festival. Sue me for having a life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. He was, he was young and he had fun at a festival. That's gonna be my excuse from everything from here on forth. I was young and I had fun at a festival. I don't know what, <laughs> and what a great position the Republicans are in on this because Fox News, I don't know if you watch, but they spend every night railing against drag shows like there's some epidemic and now they gotta suck it up and stand by curious boy George. <laughs> and now over on the other side, another new batch of classified items were found at Joe Biden's house. I think this is like the, how big is this house? This is a three bedroom house in suburban Delaware. Is there an underground bat cave we don't know about? Where are they finding all this stuff? A uh, spokesman for the Fed said the FBI on Friday executed a planned consensual search of the president's residence. So I think, I like that they use the word consensual. That's a little nut shot at Trump, right? It's, 13 hours, uh, investigators searched every inch of Joe Biden's house, every uh, safety bar in every bathroom, every, <laughs> His phone book collection, his pill organizer boxes, the horn on his Victrola. They even took the plastic off his love seat. No hard candy dish was left unturned. They found the doc, and now they're coming for his box of polydent next. Hey, speaking of old, uh, this Thursday, January 26th is our 20th anniversary on ABC. Well, thank you very much. We, um, We've been on uh, since 2003, and we have a special show in primetime on Thursday to celebrate. 20 years is a long time. We've had many highs and many lows along the way, and we're going to bring you some of the lows on Thursday for sure. But <laughs> tonight, I thought it might be fun to look back at uh, one of the highs. This is one of my favorite things. It aired on November 13th, 2017. It was my 50th birthday, and the staff wrote and shot this in secret as a gift for me. Now, when I was around, I don't know, 9, 10 years old, I... Um, I drew this comic book, okay? This is a comic book I drew. Is, um, oh, hold it here? All right. It's called, um, oh, it's called, well, you don't have to say, ah, it was not like, ah, <laughs> uh, you were a sad little boy, weren't you? <laughs> so this is the, uh, this was like my Fantastic Four, the Terrific Ten. I had uh, the main hero's muscle man there in the yellow. He wore a crown. He's the king of superheroes. And then there's Color Kid. And uh, he, Color Kid out all the powers of the rainbow. There's Color Kid, which are none, by the way. Um, <laughs> there's a leprechaun named Lucky Lad. There's uh, the, all these different characters. This is the bad guy right there, Dr. Bolt and some of his hench people in the terrible tent, including Bleach Master, which was a box of bleach <laughs> with an ax. I was, I was a strange and lonely boy. But anyway, my staff, <laughs> asked J.J. Abrams to direct a movie adaptation of this comic book using the, uh, the dialogue from the comic book that I wrote as a kid. So here it is, the trailer for the greatest superhero story never told, the Terrific Ten. Enjoy. Between the terrific and the terrible, soon you will all be under my control. Sources confirm the supervillain known as Dr. Bolt is plotting to literally destroy the Earth and wishes to invite Muscle Man to do battle now. What's the plan, Muscle Man? Assemble the team, Super Duck. Top speed. That's the only speed I know.
three. A terrific ten. Color kid, my sidekick. Color me ready. Super duck, release the quacken. Spire, god of weapons. Who wants to go clubbing? Mergit, god of wonders. Abracadabra, your abraca dead. Mainstrom, god of weather. It's gonna be cloudy with a chance of justice. Benderlight. All's well that bends well. Lucky lad. Feeling lucky. Super Sal. Silent, but deadly. Laser Lass. I'm the lady one. And me, Muscle Man, king of the superheroes. I am a man with muscles. Dr. Bolt, I got your invitation. I hope you don't mind. I brought a plus nine. You're too late. The party's over. Oh boy. This control activates my atomic bomb, which can destroy the entire Earth. Well, then don't hit that button. No, that's my dominance over you. And now, I shall unleash the most terrible of my terrible ten. Behold, the Bleach Master! What's up? Really? A box of bleach? Oh, and you're so great? What, what, what do you have the power of? A gym membership? He's got multiple gym memberships. I'm sorry, remind us again what your power is? I have all the powers of the rainbow. Oh, so what? You Skittles? I put smiles on people's faces, okay, man? Uh, okay. Wait, what's happening? And what about Super Duck? He super sucks. No, I don't. I can fly. What about Leprechaun Elvis over there? What is that even supposed to mean? It means you look stupid. Quiet, please. I look like a yoga instructor boned a claw machine. I am a box of bleach. Shut up. I... Everybody shut up. We all suck. And you know why? We were created by a, a weird, sad kid <laughs> who grew to later become a weird, fat man. <laughs> Kimmel. <laughs> so got a picture set. I mean, he didn't even draw his genitalia. <laughs> Correct.